good morning, folks. I'm in the hotel room uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do today. Well, actually, I'm going to do a little studying. And I just wanted to come on real quick and just let you know you can never put all your eggs in one basket. And let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. So, this is my basket. I got three eggs and all three of those eggs are designed to support each other. You can almost guarantee that one of the eggs is going to crack. So now you're down to two. So now these two eggs have to take on uh, the responsibility of not only that other egg that um, cracked, these two have to depend on each other. There's no balance here now. So if one of these eggs go out, now you're down to one egg and there goes your business. Now, on the other hand, let's try a different scenario. Now, I got three baskets. And each one of these baskets, for the most part, are doing the same task. Now, if this egg goes down, uh, you still have to support other two, the other two baskets. And let's say if each one of them lost an egg, and we'll even take it further, we'll say each one of them lost two eggs. Now, you've got three baskets. If this basket goes down, you still have another basket to go forward with. And if you get to the point where these two are being overwhelmed. You're pretty much in a great situation because uh, your business is just really, 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 really booming. So let me break this down in layman's terms. When you're developing a business and you're trying to create strategies, don't overwhelm one person, nor do you want to give one person all the information Split it up between the three. It's not if, it's when. It's not if, it's when, because guess what? That person can need to get overwhelmed or come into one of these little prima donna situations where they feel like they the end all be all and then information stops flowing. And then you as a business owner, you're stuck scrambling trying to figure out what's going on in your business that you should have been monitoring a whole lot uh, closer. So what we as business owners gotta realize, you gotta force people to take leave. You have to force them to take time off because when you do that, you see where things are shifting. And a lot of times you'll figure out that, hey, that one person that you was depending on, uh, as great as they are, was hoarding information and they can only develop processes to a certain extent. So when you start developing people equally and you start spreading out that knowledge and that wisdom, you're not in a situation where your whole business is gonna tank because that one person has all the information. Oh, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> Look at skin.
You got a nice boy. You can cook and sing. <laughs> Thank you.